Okay, this is Mrs. Kuiper, and I will be reading um, the ebook in Lesson 2.1 for Science, Fifth Grade Science. Uh, the book is titled Meet the Planets, and it's by John McGranahan, illustrated by Lori Allen Klein. Welcome to the first ever Favorite Planet Competition. I'm your host, Pluto, coming to you live from the solar system inside the beautiful Milky Way galaxy. These planets have been around for billions of years. They have been viewed through telescopes and visited by spaceships. And tonight, one will be named the favorite planet. So without further ado, let's meet the planets. They're solid, they're rocky, they're close to the sun. Here come the inner planets. He's a little bigger than Earth's moon and covered in craters, but make no mistake, he's all planets. Circling the sun in just 88 Earth days, he's the fastest moving planet in the solar system. He's named after the speedy messenger of the gods. Now you see him, now you don't. Meet Mercury. She's bright, she's beautiful, and she's smoking hot. Reaching surface temperatures of over 840 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 450 degrees Celsius, she's hot enough to melt some metals. As the brightest planet seen from Earth, She's often mistaken for a star. Welcome Venus. Once thought to be the center of the universe by the people who lived on it, she's the third planet from the sun. Not too hot, not too cold. Her seas and skies have given life to everything from dinosaurs to daisies. This planet never stops giving. Meet Mother Earth. He's slightly bigger than Mercury. But this planet takes a backseat to no one. If he looks a little red faced, that's because his iron rich soil gives him a rusty red color. Early astronomers thought he looked like blood and named him after the god of war. Here's the last of the inner planets. Don't mess with Mars. They're big. They're far from the sun. They're full of gas and they all have rings. Welcome the outer planet. He has a red spot the size of two Earths. There's no rocky surface on this planet. He's all gas. But with a surface temperature of minus 235 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 150 degrees Celsius, he's not blowing hot air. Named after the king of the gods, he is the largest planet in the solar system, the massive, gassive Jupiter. Surrounded by a dazzling display of rings, some say he's the most beautiful planet of all. He's the second largest planet in the solar system, but don't let his size fool you. This planet is so light on his feet that he floats. He is named after the god of agriculture. Welcome Saturn. Don't adjust your eyes. This planet is slanted since he spins on his side. One of his poles gets 42 years of sunlight while the other gets 42 years of darkness. This was the first planet to be discovered by a telescope. He was named after Jupiter's grandfather and Saturn's father. Meet Uranus. Before telescopes could find this planet, astronomers used math to predict his existence. This beautiful blue planet is anything but calm, with winds swirling over 1,000 miles, that's 1,600 kilometers per hour. This is one stormy planet. Hold on to your hats. Here comes Neptune. And there you have them, all eight planets dressed in their solar system best. Let's have a big round of applause. Yay! Girls and boys, earthlings and aliens, I have just been informed that our judges cannot reach a decision. The moons have declined to vote due to a conflict of interest. The sun loves all the planets and can't pick just one. And all the meteors have left for a shower. So that means that you will decide the favorite planet. That's right. You have studied the planets in school. You have read books and watched TV shows about them. Now it is time to pick your favorite planet. The winner is who? And that is the end of our ebook. The back has some appendixes that um, have some information that you can look at if you want to. And that is the end of our recording. Thanks for watching.